Good morning, everybody. Are y'all ready for yard sale Saturday? We didn't have but one sale that was listed to go to, but we ran into several unadvertised, and all of them were really bad. We only bought stuff at one of the unadvertised sales. And we did find a couple of these primitive pallet trees, and I think John's going to use them in his Grinch display. I'll show you the other one when we get over to the other end of the table. And the trees were only $3 each, which, you know, they were a lot of trouble to make to get all those angles cut and all. So John was happy to get those. Then, at a different unadvertised sale, we had to go up this little steep driveway, and this older gentleman, like us, was putting out a few things. So I got this beautiful transfer wire bowl. And I'll show you the back. It says, NASCO Mountain Woodland. I'm not sure who NASCO is. But this transfer wire reminds me of English transfer wire. So if you know anything about that company, let me know. But I thought it was a beautiful bowl to use for fall. Then got this teapot and it is a made in England teapot. Oh, the bowl was a dollar and the teapot was a dollar. Then got this vintage shaving mug and it shows all kinds of men's mustache. That was 50 cents. Got this old green bottle and it is, let's see, RV Pier, oh, R.V. Pierce, Maryland. No, R.V. Pierce, M.D. It was a period in between the M and D, so that was R.V. Pierce, M.D. That was 50 cents. John likes old license tags to go up on the building, so the license tags were 50 cents also. He got this 1978 North Carolina one, a 93... This one was uh, Indiana, and that was a 92 Indiana. And the reason we like the Indiana is because John had to go to West Lafayette, Indiana, at Purdue University. We would go up there every summer. He'd have to go up there for a week's training. And we have many fond memories of antiquing and going to yard sales up there in that area. We had lots of fun up there, so... I was really happy that we could get him a couple of Indiana license tags. Then, look at this beautiful scoop. I've never seen anything like this. It was one dollar, and look at the beautiful colors. I thought that was perfect for fall. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'll do something with it. And as you can see, John is down there after those acorns again. <laughs> That's a never-ending job. Plus, the leaves have really started falling. And here is the other $3 primitive tree. Like I said, we were really happy to get those. Then we'd wanted an old milk can to put outside. But all the ones we'd seen had been really expensive. So the gentleman that had the license tags and the bowl and the teapot and the bottle and the cup, he had this, and it was only $5. So we were pleased to get that. So this is the extent of our yard sale Saturday, but at least we found a few treasures. So I hope you have a wonderful day, and... I will either be back today or tomorrow for sure with the kitchen tour. And I have seen several people show some of their vintage postcards. We have a few Halloween postcards. We don't have a large collection, but I may do a separate little video on our vintage Halloween postcards too. So, love and blessings to y'all from me and John and baby boy. Baby boy is doing his morning visiting right now, so he's not here to help me. So, we'll see you soon. Till the next time, bye-bye.